most drivers would never call a New York traffic jam inspiring. But as scientist Jim Powell sat in traffic on the way to see his girlfriend in Boston more than 50 years ago, he was struck with a thought that would change his life. There must be a faster way to get to Boston. While working at Long Island's Brookhaven lab in the 60s, Powell and partner Gordon Danby found that faster way to Boston. It's called maglev. This amazing passenger service is quiet. And superconducting magnets power maglev trains, allowing cars to glide above the tracks at speeds up to 300 miles an hour. Think of two simple kids magnets like these. They repel one another, just like the magnetic fields on maglev's tracks and cars. That allows the trains to literally fly on the ground. So it's not like a conventional train with wheels. It's, it's a new, brand new way of traveling. A faster, cheaper, greener form of transportation being built in Asia and Europe, but not in the U.S. The reason, building maglev here on a large scale would cost billions. But after more than five decades of rejection, Powell and Danby's supporters are more skeptical about why maglev has failed. Railroads don't want to change. The airlines, special interests, have certainly kept a, uh, kept a lid on this technology. They believe maglev could transform American transportation with aging systems like New York subways converted using existing tracks and cars. We see a world where there will be less traffic on the roads. Danby and Powell have written a book and are pursuing private money for maglev. Like Don Quixote, they refuse to give up their seemingly impossible dream. It will happen. It just may not happen when we're alive. Uh, but, but, you know, but it, it'll happen. Greg Sergel, News 4 New York.